is my first ever uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, video. So we are in Kulmadarash. Uh, this is one airport close to uh, the main airport, the international airport in Hungary. So we are very close to Ferihegy. It's almost two minutes flight. So at the moment what I will show you, this is uh, how to use the autopilot in this plane. And before we're doing this, I already went through in the automatic uh, uh, pre-flight check. So we have landing gear and everything. And I just shut on this a little bit. So we, we need to use... Okay, I understand. We need to use fly director, so this will be the pinky. So in some other planes, they're using different kind of uh, colors. We have vertical speed, uh, VNV, what I'm not using, uh, FRC. So this is where we can keep up the speed and use the uh, use this button. So uh, we can we can change the the altitude uh, while we keeping the the speed for the for the plane. Uh, this is how you control the vertical speed, and this is how you control the, the speed. So you will have like a small cursor. Show it here. Uh, this is following the navigation, so following GPS. Uh, this will be heading. If you want to use uh, manual uh, vector uh, based ILS, you can use this one. This is for approach. Uh, for this plane, it's it's uh, it's very easy to use uh, approach because you don't need to set up anything else. You don't need to change the uh, the guidance you just press approach and they automatically following the ILS uh, altitude hold and uh, this is how you're selecting your altitude so we're going up to 5000 for the beginning and we will use the, the sat nav for, for this and you have autopilot and you have uh, uh, your dumper so this is the two that you need to turn on but you will have all of the, the warnings here and this is just for flight director for the, the co-pilot so when we're using this plane you don't have touch screen and this is a bummer because you need to use these buttons if you want to change to terrain to weather to, to everything you need to use the buttons and also you have uh, FMC so first what we need to do uh, we need to tell everyone how I am here and I will take off and we will maintain Lima the Hotel pattern. Zero Alpha Traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra taking off runway 2 tree left touch and go. No more brakes and we're just taking off. This is an amazingly fast plane so you don't have any issues using some uh, trimming to, to keep up uh, 10 degree up. We turning on the navigation. We using FSC. The autopilot is on. Navigation is on, and FSC will be trying to keep us in this. Sorry, in 180, 80-ish speed. But we can change the speed to 180 knots. So the plane, nine zone of pilot, we were following the pinky, and you don't need to do anything, we're just following the GPS coordinates. But the problem is the GPS coordinates will be takes us to the airport, and that's it. But we are not a car driver, we, we want to land and just find the car parking place when we get there. So we need to tell the computer we want to have an approach vector. So this is very basic. So we have the departure and uh, approach button here. You need to... We have some issues because I believe my gear landing is gear. still up. Landing gear. Landing gear. Yeah, landing, landing gear is up. Uh, now everything is fine. So I was focusing on other things and I need to talk with the tower, but...
select runway to landing so we need to find an airport where we're going but at the moment it's not here so we tune into the best center Budapest Center Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra 8 miles west of Lima Hotel 0 Alpha request IFR to Farah Edgy ready to copy Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra is clear Farah Edgy airport is filed Squawk 7327 Over speed Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra cleared to Farah Edgy airport is filed Squawk 7327 Yeah the communication is it's an issue when you're trying to explain something so our output. Yeah, we're not going up to 14,000. Yeah, stupid. Turn right heading 270, proceed on course climb and maintain 16,000 feet. Turn right heading 270, proceed on course climb and maintain 16,000 feet. Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. So we need altitude decrease a lot, like 10k. Budapest Center Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Request 8,000 feet. Yeah, the navigation just going with the power, so the communication is we want to. Yeah, he allows us to go to 8000, so it's good. And we're asking him to 3000 more, so we will be stay on 5000 where we are already. Good. So we don't need to climb anymore because we are very close to the airport. You see, we are all almost in the approach. So we we want to do ILS landing, and uh, with this uh, uh, flying computer, it's very easy because when you're selecting ILS 13L and you root it. They also setting up everything and you just need to activate it. So when you activate it, you don't need to do anything else, just click approach. So now we are in approach mode and the plane will be following this vector, going to the point where you want to be. They do a left turn, and when you getting very close to the airport, you will have the glide indicator here next to the, your speed, and the plane will be start uh, start to approach uh, the airport with a steady speed. So the only thing what you need to do is uh, flaps you to landing, and you need to release the the gear uh, if you don't know what speed you need to use you just need to do the cheat sheet here so they said maximum gear operation speed is 200 we are going to go 7 so if we really want we can we can release the, the gear we're just speeding up a little bit to get closer to the, to the airport and I will be coming back when we are closer to the airport so the only change what happened in the last uh, couple of seconds, uh, I talked to the tower and the tower told me I'm up to 10,000. So I started to climb, go up to 10. Going to 120.375 Cessna X-Ray Golf Sierra. So I started to go up to 10,000, and uh, when I reached 10,000, they just told me, ah, hey awesome you need to go down to 4k and if you cheat if you see the approach vector is changed i didn't tell the, the tower i were doing uh, ils approach so they told me uh, hi it's awesome you're doing an ils approach but while you're doing this you need to use the 31r instead of the the 12 l so what i did i came back to my trusty computer press the button Go to approach and I change the ILS from 13L to 31R. So if you see the comms here, they telling me this is my ILS approach, and I already contacting with the 
Budapest approach. approach Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is at 8,500 feet, descending 4,000 feet. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Budapest approach, continue to Nigra as planned. Altimeter 2 Niner, decimal 8 Niner. Yeah, so we just we're just flying as planned. So we're a little bit ahead of the the approach curve. We just have a Budapest approach didn't copy. Please repeat for Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. We just got a message from the tower. X-ray Golf Sierra descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Just letting them okay. Descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. We'll be going down from 4,000 to to 3,000 at the moment. I'm using vertical speed. To keep up vertical speed, you need to release a, a little bit the throttle, so we we are almost in idle. Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra, you are two three miles southeast of Farahegy. Contact Budapest Tower on one one eight decimal one one inbound on the approach. And we just turn them. Tower okay. on one one eight decimal one Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Yeah, so if you install the the voice pack Tower, Cessna, for Alpha, Sierra, US English, Sierra, you can use this robotic uh, sound. Runway, so some tree, one of the towers are using a different kind of Sierra, different kind of voice uh, tones. It's it's a little bit better. Yeah, okay. We we have uh, clearance ILS to ILS approach. Right approach we have <coughs> wind speed a little bit, but only 17, so it's it's not that hard. And we have a clearance to land. So basically what's happening now, we are in 3000. 3000 feet high. We are doing full ILS approach. And uh, you can see this these pink dots here. Let's zoom in. So we already have the gliding indicator, but not for the the altitude, but we already have the approach vector. So if you see, they said we need to go right a lot, and if you see the map, yeah, if you're turning right, this is the the, the vector, what we're looking for. So after BP, 850, uh, 865 this will be in that center so we are following our route we're just doing this small uh, curve and I will be back when we are hitting BP 865 yeah this is just a small external camera picture so if you see we we doing the the turn and we heading to Adico it will be very close. You already see the the approach lines when you want to land. Uh, we are going too fast for this, so the tower told me I need to go maximum 230. So we're going to 220, and uh, the plane is doing everything for itself. So this is uh, flying with your mouse. Uh, I did a takeoff, and uh, after takeoff, I just changed the trimming to keep the plane. Uh, a little bit straight and uh, that's it and from from there I'm just flying with the uh, autopilot and you just need to learn how to use these buttons and after you can look around and if you've never been in Hungary so basically we have lots of farms next to each other small villages and uh, and some warehouses close to close to the airport and uh, yeah, we have a road, I think this is M4, what is going to Debrecen and that, that direction. And yeah, it's it's just flat in this side. Uh, we have some mountains in the other side, so if you're looking 
looking to the mountains, the mountain part is uh, Buddha and the flat part uh, in the other side of the Danube uh, river is uh, Pest. So, yeah, the, we are into BP 865 and uh, if you see we will have a 90 degree uh, corner. I believe I'm re reaching BP uh, six, uh, 865 uh, the tower will tell us to start to uh, reduce our altitude to 2500 uh, and uh, we will go into the final approach uh, we are almost there so if you see when we're getting closer and the, and the plane nose is hitting to, to this triangle we will start turning and uh, we will be changing now so now the plane is turning itself and this is when when we're going back to inside in the cabin when you're in a cockpit you are already see we have glide indicators and when the, the the lines are matching each other we will have the approach vector so the autopilot is doing this we already too high so if i look outside yeah we are higher than it's expected we need to be around 2000 uh, feet in this point we have ILS approach uh, the tower didn't tell us to, to change our altitude yet but uh, but the game just telling you everything so now if you see we are going that straight to, to the to the landing parts and uh, we will start to slow down uh, the plane a little bit because uh, at the moment I cannot release the the landing gears because we are going with uh, 200 this is just uh, my uh, FRC for 210 but we're going with 201 uh, it's not safe to to release the the landing gear but we are getting there so the airport will be telling us uh, soon what we need to do but at the moment we just I think as we, we want to be and uh, in this plane you don't need to change uh, anything we already start losing uh, altitude without doing anything we already do that on 100 we, we need to slow down we have a landing clearance yep Tree, one right Cessna, X-ray Golf Sierra. So to do this, we need landing gear, of course. Come on. Oh, we're going too fast. Yeah, this was the issue. So we went to 212, 220. And now, the only thing what you do... So now, the only thing what you do is playing the throttle. If you look up, the plane is a little bit lower than the autopilot want to be. So you just give some extra throttle. You need like 150 to, to land. We are approaching with 100, 108. And you don't need to look outside in the window. We already have the clearance. And the only thing what you do, just keep this close to the fly director. And when we reaching 500, slow down a little bit. You just turn off the autopilot. And now from here, you just need to do the last couple of seconds of flying. Zero throttle. Just keep it. Keep it smooth. 
not like this. Yeah. Yeah, so the landing was <laughs> was terrible. But we are done. Yeah, trust me, I, I'm not landing like this. I, I was focusing much more to look outside and then fly the plane. Yep, that's it. So this is how you uh, fly and land and uh, using the autopilot. And yeah, of course, we need to talk with the uh, ground and everything. So thank you for watching. Take care. Fly safe. Cheers.